what's your take on, uh, the, you know, just overall living here in Vancouver as a whole? I mean, I absolutely love it here. Um, mm-hmm. I know that you're a Leaf fan like me uh, that yeah. that came over and all the rest of it and uh, had to deal with all the anarchy <laughs> of that. Yeah, I My first Leaf game, I actually, I attended uh, about, I, when did I move here? I mean, I moved here in 05. So I think it was February. I think it was the following season uh, in October. I went and saw a Leaf uh, Canucks game. Yeah. And all the Leaf fans blocked the third level washrooms. So no. none of the Canuck fans could come in and go to the washroom. And it was really, really, really funny. Um, no. It was That's, one of the funniest yeah. things I've ever seen. Because if you've ever gone, <laughs> you've gone to a Leaf game and Leaf and Canucks at the Canuck, at Rogers or no? I've done one. Leafs Connects game at Rogers Arena. The Leafs lost that game like six nothing or something like that. Like it was bad. Um, this was pre Matthews, pre Mark, yeah, yeah, um, pre Anderson. It was uh, Reimer was still their goalie, um, and I just remember the game obviously stank, and I ended up behind this drunk Connects fan who was just chanting Reimer. I think I heard you tell that story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it was so funny. For me, was kind of a bummer on the day. It, it, I love going to Leafs games, but I also have nothing against the Canucks, especially in that era. They were really very good, um, and it was fun to watch them. So I'm a big Canucks fan, except when they are playing the Leafs. Apparently, same with and- me. I'm I'm exactly the same. You know, the Canucks are always number two for me. So mm-hmm. when I moved out here, I, I got you by a couple of years. So when I moved out here, they actually just got rid of everybody that I used to hate on the Canucks. So we mm-hmm. actually had the rise of Kessler, the rise of the Sedins. Luongo came in, uh, Burroughs, you know, Biaxa, all these great yeah. guys. And then we've got the Stanley Cup run and we got the Olympics. I mean, we, it was a great time to be in Vancouver mm-hmm. uh, yeah. after 05. Like, I mean, the city was exploding. And um, <laughs> I think this is a controversial thing to say to a lot of people. I'm sure Mancuso mm-hmm. would uh, definitely rake me over the coals over this. Uh, but is it okay to like two teams? Uh, yeah, I think absolutely it is. This, um, there's I'm a Leafs no... fan. Leafs fan first. Leafs versus Canucks. Yeah. It's always Leafs over Canucks all day. I'll go to the mm-hmm. I'll go to the game in a Leaf jersey. All the rest of it. But the rest of the time, mm-hmm. I mean, when I'm yeah. not getting Leafs games, we got to watch hockey somehow, right? For sure. Yeah. Like I think if you're a fan of the game of hockey, you know, like what you like, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Um, at all if people have more than one team that they're a fan of for sure for me i know that there's no team tied with the leafs um would there be a team tied with the canucks maybe right um, right right as you know i have absolutely i'm always anytime there are Canadian teams in the playoffs. I have nothing against the Habs either. Well, you also lived a- in Ottawa for a while too, and you had to deal with all yeah. that. So I'm sure you became I, uh, a Sens so, but fan that's too. The thing, actually, actually, yeah. I'm not a Sens fan. That's the thing. When they're, I'm, I'm a fan of every Canadian team except them um, because right. I lived in Ottawa for two years. And I just sort of, the vibe that I always kind of got from, from Sens fans was that they spent so much time talking about, the Leafs and never any time talking about the Sens. Sure. So it was just this kind of like their complex against the Leafs was so intense that it just impacted upon my feeling about the team. Plus now the team is managed so horrifically that it's just a trash fire. You can't help but enjoy a little bit. Um, I was in Australia actually during the Sens cup run when they played uh, the Ducks. What was that? Oh seven. And uh, I was the only Canadian at this bar called Cheers in Sydney right. that was open at 10 a.m. and was the only bar that we were aware of that was doing live Stanley Cup final games. So my friend and I are going to this bar basically every other day and getting like sloshed at 10 a.m. Well, I am not not my friend. <laughs> and, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. I mean, only, and <laughs> the only people in the place are Canadians, of course, and friends yeah. of Canadians that live in Australia. And I'm the only Canadian in the bar that's cheering for the Ducks. 
So. Well, all the Canadians were on the team. So that's why, wow. you know, that's, yeah, that's why that. and I think people get that. So it's funny when you get people, when you, you know, when the, when the playoffs solidify, who's playing who people go, well, who, you know, here it's like, well, where are the most Canadians? Oh, they're on Anaheim. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cheer I for mean, that. I, I still for like for every, every fan base in Canada, uh, except for the sense fan base, I guess I would love them to celebrate a Stanley Cup victory. I think it would be such a great thing for them and their city. And it'd just be so fun to like, obviously I would rather be a part of it with it being sure. the lead. But for me, it would just be a really fun thing to watch and, and hope as well that they do it responsibly and they don't set cars on fire like yeah. the Habs fans did in 93 or the Canucks yeah. fans did when they lost. That must have been, guys, I think it was guys from Syria where I live, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. wow. It was, it was so many people because it was just that herb mentality. And I was, downtown for that game actually yeah. and they were already they were already losing three nothing by the end of the second period and i just had that feeling of like this is not going to go well tim thomas is way too hot there's no way he's going to let in three goals four goals in the next 20 minutes so my, I made the my issue with that whole thing was um and it sounds like we're we're, we're going over the uh you know doug gilmore high stick thing with gretzky, <laughs> with gretzky. but I really thought they should have started Schneider in game three in Boston. And mm -hmm. I was, you know, people at the time were, were all over me about it going, well, you know, you got to run with the goalie that's hot. I'm like, yeah, but the goalie that's hot never wins in Boston. Yeah. And, you know, Schneider killed them uh, when they went back for that, uh, that, the, the next game. Anyway, Schneider was great. They were the, you know, Jennings winners. They were like one, two. I'm like, just what do you got to lose? You're up to nothing. Throw Schneider. And if you lose, you go back to Luongo. But I really thought that they made a mistake there. And I think mm -hmm. honestly, uh, I think it cost them the cup personally. Oh. I think it cost them the cup. Cause I think that, um, losing that game, not that they were going to win three in a row, but one of those Boston games, he should have went in. And uh, yeah, so that was an issue for me. Um, Absolutely. I so, think and, yeah, but interestingly, with the riots the next day or <sighs> that night, right? So I had left downtown and I got home. I walked because the SkyTrain was packed, but I got home just in time to flip the news on. And they were like, yep, it's game is over. They lost. And now there's a car on fire. Yeah. Um, I was in Ontario. I was in a bar in Port Perry with my friends and, uh, yeah. and I was actually in, in the, in the bar hanging out. And, uh, then that happened. And, and I remember all my, my buddies that I was with were like, Oh, look at your city, you know? Yeah. And oh, I was well, like, that's, it. that's the thing. Like oh I God. felt, I, I had lived in Vancouver at that point for, what was it? Almost three years or more or, yeah. yeah, three years yeah. or more. And the riots, and the destruction for nothing. And the next day when everybody came out sort of to clean up downtown, that was the moment where it felt like Vancouver is my city. You yeah, know, I, yeah. I had felt like a visitor kind of, or sure. a transplant and, and an East coaster living on the left coast. I had felt like that until that moment. That was the moment where I sort of felt like this had happened to my right. city, you know? And I was angry because it was garbage. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, friends, to the Brenton on Tour podcast channel on YouTube. Copy, music, travel, life, all of those things. One page, lots of guests, lots of chatter. We talk about all of it. If you like it, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks, friends. See you next time.